how to use Miller Send tutorial for beginners step by step. Hi guys, good day again and welcome to the channel. Today I will show you how you can easily use Miller Send to send, receive, and track transactional emails. So without further ado, let's dig in. By the way, first, what is Miller Send? Mailer Send is a new kind of transactional email service designed for developers to work faster and smarter. Built by deliverability experts so you can rest easy knowing your email will get delivered. Plus, real-time analytics help you learn and optimize. You can start with their free plan and with the free plan you can have 12,000 emails per month. Then only pay for what you send after. And why should you choose MailerSend? MailerSend is a comprehensive tool for your everyday business, like send invoices, delivery updates, forgotten password link in seconds, without thinking about it. Some features include email API, use SMTP or Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, and more. And to start, you need to first go to MailerSend.com and here just create an account by clicking on sign up. And then just fill out this form first, provide your company name, your name, email, then create your own password. And lastly, don't forget to check this box here and click on sign up for free. After that, you'll be redirected to the dashboard and here you have your guide to get started. You must first verify your email so let me go ahead and go to my email inbox. And here's the email. Let me just verify my email. And then after that, you'll need to review and accept their policy. So you just need to start here and just read this policy for you to understand their policy when using the software. So you just need to read this and after that, and here you can check this if you want to subscribe to their newsletter for you to receive any updates or promo. Once done, the next step is to provide your web domain. Here you just need to provide your web domain like the www.yourwebdomain.com. And then here you can add more than one web domain, not just one. And then the last step is to verify your web domain. Just click on start to verify your web domain. And here you just need to do all of these things. And you have your step-by-step -step guide here on how you can verify your web domain. So there is no need for you to worry. So for example, if your website created from godaddy.com, then here is the guide here for your GoDaddy website to verify your web domain and connect it to your Miller Send account. I will just go ahead and skip this part since it may take a little time for us to do this and also it needs approval. So let me go ahead and proceed on how you can use this platform. So first here in your domain tab, from here you can see all the web domain you added or connected in this account. For now we only have one but if you have more than one then you can also see it here. And you can manage each domain by directly clicking on the web domain name or just clicking the manage here. And now since I haven't set up, verified, and approved my domain yet, you will see this. But once you've verified your email and get approved, then you will see first here the emails you send to your website visitors or subscribers. You will also check messages here that was rejected and also the email that's still on the process sending. You may also track here the email that were open and also track clicks if you include links in the email or newsletter you sent to your customers. Then you can see here the number of your customer that clicks on the link when they open your email. In addition, from here you can change your unsubscribe page as well and at the same time track the unsubscribe customer. Also you can add option like unsubscribe immediately or you can also add unsubscribe survey to help you identify the reason your customers or potential customer unsubscribe so that you can take action immediately to control the situation and listen the unsubscribe member. And the next step is activity. 
here it will show you the live overview of the things that's going on with all your emails. You can check and track what actions your customers are taking. Like for example, if they receive the email, if they open it, or if they click the link, or if they unsubscribe and more. And the next tab is the templates. Here you can create your email template. You've got options here. Use their drag and drop editor or HTML builder to start from the scratch. So to start with, click on create template over here. And then here you have options to select from. You can use the drag and drop editor that I mentioned earlier, or you can make use of the rich text editor or HTML editor. This option is great if you're familiar with HTML, but it's complicated for those who are not. I will just go ahead and choose the drag and drop editor that is more easier for everyone. And here you have different templates to start that you can easily customize. Like for example, if you want customer note, then you can click this, order processing template, welcome email, invoice receipt, and more. To check the template, you can simply click the preview, and here you can see the template, and then you can customize this. You may also view it based on tablet and mobile. Let me just close this, and I will choose this, and here you can simply customize your email template. You can simply drag and drop images on your header, then just upload your image here. You may also add link to the image. And here in settings, you can change more like if you want your image to be edge to edge, like no spaces from the edges, or you can also add some background on its edges. Or you may also add your logo. And then you can easily edit the text here as well. You can change the font style, the size, and also the text color and more. Or you can also add more text block here. Or you can add clickable button if you like to. You can also add products, articles, social link, and more. Just drag and drop everything that you like to add in your email template. Once done, just click Save and Publish. And if you have more than one web domain connected to your account, then you'll be having options in what domain you want this template to be connected with. So the last tab is for Analytics. Once you send emails, then you will see reports here for you to track your performance. And what makes this platform great is you can also add your team and have your team access all the functions here so that you and your team can work together. So it's very important to connect and verify your web domain here so that this software can get your website data and make use of all the features. So again, you can start with a free plan. And as I mentioned before, with the free plan, you can send 12,000 emails per month, which is really great. So that's all for today's video. And if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thank you for watching.